Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Growing up, my family never had a day of rest. We always had something to do. Some softball practice to go to, dance class to attend, and a church event to volunteer at. When I say we, it's not me, my mom, my dad, and my brother. It's my aunts, my uncles, my aunties, and my best friend. We needed a Cadillac Escalade to fit us all in. <laughs> but before we drove off the parking lot, everyone would take turns to pray. Pray for safe travels to our destination. Pray for gang knowledge. Pray for thought-provoking questions. And that whatever we do will be done in excellence. This was a way to unify the family while going our separate ways. Even when we were separated, we knew we would come back together again. This foundation was built from my community and made me want to pursue my fullest potential as a young adult. It made me want to take initiative, make my family proud, and set the tone for the next generation. My parents were big on education. They attended college, but didn't finish. They had to get jobs and help out the family. So for my brother and I, it was crucial to complete college. As a first gen student, I was the trailblazer in my family. It was a lot of pressure, but good pressure to mold myself, come out better, learn, and excel in college and my career. So I decided to leave. It was my first time ever leaving my home and the community behind. I was the baby. Did you hear me? The baby, <laughs> the youngest to leave. <laughs> but in order to learn and to be a strong black woman, I knew I had to fully leave my community to experience the livelihood of being a young adult and to learn how to navigate through challenges and successes. My first challenge, getting into college. I was interested to go to college, but I didn't know the steps or who to go to. I had the platform, I just need the mic. And College Bound gave me the mic, and here I am with the mic. <laughs> I joined College Bound during my sophomore year in high school. They came to an assembly, and while the recruiter presented the opportunities, I sparked an interest to learn more. I was taught not to be hesitant to seize the opportunity that's in front of you. I know College Bound was that opportunity and I had to seize it. College Bound and my community equipped me with resources and knowledge for how to complete college application, write a resume, a personal statement, and get all the documents and paperwork ready. One piece of paper, I remember like it was just yesterday. I got a letter stating that we were going camping and it was mandatory. I'm like, mandatory? I have never been camping, ever. My mom got me a prescription for Zyrtec and I was trying to convince my doctor to excuse me for being allergic to outside. <sighs> it didn't work. So camping with College Bound, I went. They took our cell phones and our watches. I have never been out the city, so it was eye-opening. I did kayaking, and I didn't know how to swim. <laughs> but I did it. I was afraid. But I got on that little boat in the front, and I paddled relentlessly. From camping, I learned how to build community and be present. This was a top priority that led me to SEMO. One day, while talking to Scott, the former ED, I expressed my interest in schools that I was looking at. I told them that I wanted to find a college that had resources 
just like College Bell. Scott got really excited, like Scott does. And he mentioned SEMO, had a partnership with College Bell through TRIO. TRIO is a program that helps students navigate through college and careers. Having that connection felt impactful because I would still have a community and going to SEMO would be a smooth transition. And it was until one day in dance class. My professor called me out in front of my peers for not having neat hair. What is neat hair? I was the only person of color and I immediately felt disturbed. After class, I scheduled a meeting with her and my tree advisor to discuss the matter. She listened. I was proud of myself for addressing what I know now is microaggression. You see, College Bound was there, and they didn't even know it. They were the ones who introduced me to TRIO, and it was having that kind of support was important. I learned that an uneasy situation could bring strength, even with fear and the unknown. And if you thought this was a challenge, there's more. A few months before graduation, my college bound coach called and asked me about my plans after college. I was honest with her, real honest. With finances and student loans, graduate school was not looking like an option for me. Because in my family, money don't grow on trees. I just don't got 40 grand in the back. Mariah listened to me and she heard me. And I love this about college bound. Through listening, she gave me a different perspective. She broke the benefit of graduate school down to my understanding. She gave me a different mindset and let me know that I can do this, that I could go to graduate school. From that meeting, I was inspired to do more. I dived into my schools of interest and I was moved to apply to Webster University. My pursuit was relentless and intentional I used my network to get my name in rooms, move from the gate to the yard. With the push from College Bound, I applied to Webster and was accepted in one week. <laughs> College requires relentless pursuit. From the time you apply to leaving home, dealing with financial aid, roommates, internships, graduate study, and all the things. You must be relentless. I had to bump my head a couple of times. I did a lot of stuff blindfolded, not knowing I had a whole community to back me up. Students need a safe place to be heard and a community to support them, to catch them when they fall. Family and college bound is that safe place. I had family support, but not everyone does. College Bound is that community. It's an extended family. And now, I'm on a proud alum of that extended family. And for all students just like me. My name is Shaynik Sims, and I'm a 2024 graduate from Southeast Missouri State University with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration in Management. And I'm currently interning at Stiefel. Hey, Stiefel. <laughs> and I will be attending Webster University in the fall to study management and leadership in graduate school. And that is nothing but the grace of God. Thank you.